Liquid biopsy, it's, uh, it's uh, a procedure that uh, just need a blood uh, test and uh, you determine there the circulating uh, tumor DNA. And you know, you, you have to know previously which uh, uh, genetic alterations uh, does the uh, pancreatic cancer tumor patients uh, have to look after them. Uh, this is one way, but we have to identify previously the population at risk because you are not going to take a blood draw to everybody that is walking in the street. The incidence of pancreatic cancer is not so high as breast or colorectal cancer, for instance. So we, we need to identify the high-risk population and to this high-risk population to perform a, a liquid biopsy to, to check uh, if uh, pancreatic cancer is going on. Another way is with the microbiome. We have recently uh, published in GUT, which is a prestigious uh, journal, the uh, microbiome signature of pancreatic cancer patients. So, as well as you measure your uh, blood in the feces uh, for an earlier diagnosis of uh, colon cancer, you can make an earlier diagnosis of pancreatic cancer by determining the signature of the microbiome in the feces. So, uh, we have multiple ways for approaching this early diagnosis.